Genesis and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Shakur Stevenson, he does it. He gets the job done. He completely dominates Oscar Valdez, as was expected. The fight was damn near a shutout on all three official scorecards. One judge had to fight 117-110. The other two judges had to fight score 118-109. Oscar Valdez, he looked confused from the very first round. He was forced to reach. He kept going into that high guard, kind of the way Canelo Alvarez does. Oscar was trying to fight an aggressive fight, but he was always out of range and missing the majority of his punches while Shakur was standing right in front of him. Now, Oscar did manage to start landing his right hand later on in the fight, and he ended up landing more punches on Shakur Stevenson than anyone else did. But it's just amazing that even when he landed, more punches than anyone else did against Shakur Stevenson, the fight was still one-sided. Shakur was able to knock down Oscar Valdez with a perfect check hook that was reminiscent of Floyd Mayweather catching Ricky Hatton with the check hook and knocking him down. But as easy as this fight was for Shakur Stevenson, I truly believe Shakur, he could have stopped Oscar Valdez if he would have started walking him down. If he would have went on the inside and stayed close to Oscar Valdez, he would have either knocked down Oscar Valdez multiple times or he would have stopped him. I think the fact that Shakur Stevenson was fighting Oscar from a distance, especially in the second half, it kept Oscar Valdez in this fight and it was giving Oscar Valdez more of a chance of landing that sneaky right hand that he was able to land in this fight. You know, when Shakur Stevenson knocked down Oscar Valdez, after he knocked him down, Shakur got really, really aggressive. But then once he realized that Oscar Valdez wasn't completely ready to go, Shakur, he took his foot off the gas a little bit. But to dominate a long reigning two division champion the way Shakur Stevenson did, it was very impressive. And now Shakur will aim to become the undisputed champion at 130. So at the end of the day, we've seen exactly why Oscar Valdez never wanted this fight and why old media was praying that this fight would not happen. They were in fear that Shakur Stevenson, he would validate his claims of becoming the next Floyd Mayweather in the sport of boxing. And it looks like he's on his way to becoming one of the next Floyd Mayweathers because there's a couple special fighters out there. I mean, you still got Devin Haney and many other fighters, so we'll see how that plays out. But for now, there's no doubt about it. This catapults Shakur Stevenson's career into pound for pound status. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man, Scalp Carolinas, on Instagram. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.